Good morning and welcome to our daily prayers today on this um, beautiful Thursday. It's an opportunity to just engage with God and be present to him and to lift our day to him. So uh, please do join us and there will be an opportunity uh, as usual for you to contribute to prayer in a space that we will provide if there's any concerns that you have that you want to raise before God. So let's just be still as we begin our prayers today. Give us today our daily bread. Homai kia mato ane, he taroma mato mo tenerai. None of us lives and none of us dies for ourselves alone. Living or dying, we belong to the Lord. The reading this morning is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 20, beginning at verse 17. While Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and on the third day he will be raised. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and on my left hand, this is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. Then the ten heard it. They were angry with the two brothers. But Jesus called him to them and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and that their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came to be served, not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. It's just a reflection on that passage from Walter Brueggemann's Gift and Task, and we'll be using that uh, right now. What mother does not want her child promoted to be to a better future? So with the mother of the two disciples. Her request indicates that she has no clue about the ministry and purpose of Jesus or the destiny of her sons. Jesus immediately turns from the mother to the sons and quizzes them about their capacity to walk with him. He asks them about the cup, that is, the destiny of suffering that will come to his followers. They answer eagerly in the affirmative. We may suspect that they, faithful to their mother, think their affirmative embrace of the cup of suffering is simply a prerequisite for a good appointment in his coming kingdom. But of course, their willingness suggests that they understand no more than did their mother. Jesus accepts their affirmative answer about the cup, but he denies them any expected reward for their obedience. He focuses only on the task at hand, which is an end in itself. And then Jesus elaborates on his vocation into which they have been inducted. In a world of great ones, The call is to servanthood. Jesus contradicts the world of power and the expectation of his disciples. He does so because the kingdom he will bring is a contradiction to both Roman power and Jewish entitlement. Such a contradiction, of course, brings big trouble. But he sees unambiguously that restoration of those damaged by top-down great people requires a completely different enterprise. 
we might consider engaging in that contradiction in our own time. Contradiction of greedy commoditization is urgent among the vulnerable who are rendered helpless and hopeless by our dominant power arrangement. Lord Jesus, who by vulnerable solidarity contradicted the top-down authority of lordly power, grant that we today may find ways to join in your daring, transformative contradiction in your name. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Keep that in mind as we come to our examen and look forward to our day in Christ. Today is a fresh day. It is a good day, Lord, because you have made it. Therefore, it is full of possibilities and hope. Jesus, you are our source. Help, Help us, us to, to live, live the day, day with, with you, you in the center. center. You call us together as your body Help us to share the day well with others. Yours, Lord, is a revolution of love. Help us to share the good news with the lost, the lost and the least. Amen. As we come to um, prayer and intercessions, I'm going to use some prayers from uh, the um, Benedictine daily prayer and a litany, uh, which we'll just use to guide our prayers and reflections on uh, this day. So Lord God, before time began and the universe came into being, you are here. Hear us as we humbly bring our prayer before you, saying, Lord, show us your love. Deepen our respect for the world you have made and help us to live in it with reverence. Lord, show us your love. Help us affirm the goodness of humankind by our care for the lonely and the poor. Lord, show us your love. When your spirit seems silent, Father, empower us to do our daily tasks and wait in patience for the time you have chosen. Lord, show us your love. Support with your grace all who are grieved by the sudden loss of health or freedom. Let's feel free in this moment to mention the name of anybody who you know is unwell and you want the Lord to, to hear a prayer for healing for. Just speak out their name right now. Lord, show us your love. We pray for those suffering bereavement. And we ask that they may know the Lord's peace. Again, let's lift up before the Lord those who are in distress or um, struggling with the loss of a loved one.
Lord, show them your love. God, our Father, when you gave us your Son, your light came into the world. May we welcome him in our lives and thus be a light for our brothers and sisters. We ask you this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let us pray for the coming of that kingdom. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Eternal God, grant to us this day and every day such readiness and delight in following Christ that whether our lives are short or long, we shall have lived abundantly. Amen. Amen. Thanks very much for joining us for prayers today. I hope you have a good day and the Lord bless you and be with you and may you be a blessing to others today in all that you do as well. Uh, join us again tomorrow morning for our next prayers. Thank you.